Hi guys, my name is Green Eye Gemskull and welcome to a Sims free play house tour. If you're anything like me, you will really enjoy seeing some amazing elaborate builds within Sims free play. We can have up to five stories, we can have basements, we can have mezzanines, balconies, we can have so many awesome things now. But I figured, since I've just started my new series of Sims Free Play from the beginning, if you haven't seen the first episode of that, you should definitely go and check that out. I am starting the game from scratch, so that is going to definitely be fun. But since as I was starting that, I figured that actually when you first start the game, you can only build one floor. You have to complete the multi-story renovations quest before you can even put stairs in. You haven't got access to basements, balconies, anything like that. So I figured I would like to build a one-story, three-bedroomed family home. It is an ideal little starter house for a young family and if you're just starting the game, it's a nice build to do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is built on a standard lot, of course, and it is home to a young couple, Isabel and Hayden, and their two young children, Asher and Sophia. And let's just put the roof on. Oh, it is not supposed to be black. I have no... Why has that gone black? Hang on a minute. Okay, something is glitching weird in my game and making this... Why is it black? Okay, right, let me go out of it and let's, let's try again. Okay, here we go. Now it's working. I just went back out onto the town map and came back in and it was no longer black. It was its proper brick colour which looks so much better, doesn't it? So here is the house, and honestly, I really like it. I like how the roof kind of goes backwards like that. I like the shape of it, it's pretty cool. And it's quite simple at the front here with some planters and a little driveway, or not a driveway really, there's just a little pathway with some hanging baskets. Now some of these items, if you are early on in the game and you can only do one story builds at the moment, some of these items you may only get later on in the game when you complete certain quests. Maybe on my other game where I've just restarted, I'll do like a true starter home that you could maybe build like when you're on level 10 or something within the game with just the items that you've got up until that point. But for now, obviously I've unlocked various different items through so many different quests and events that I've completed throughout Sims Free Play over the last six years. And if we just go around the back here, you can see it's kind of just set up for the kids really. They've got a nice swing, little play area back here because they have got a little toddler and a preteen and the preteen still loves to come outside and play on the swing and the seesaw and then there's a little seating area there for mum and dad to sit with any guests or the family, all the family sit out there and have their food out there sometimes and maybe should have put a little barbecue for them, that would have been a nice idea and as you can see there's a back door here that goes in to the house so let's go round to the front and we will start from the beginning We'll take this roof down and as you enter the house there is a little entrance way here just with a little chair and some drawers where all the family kind of just throw their bits and pieces in. It's supposed to be like an organised place where they can put their scarves and anything that they may need as they're leaving the house but they kind of don't. It's just a load of junk in there as it is when you have a young family. You tend to have a lot of stuff and then just over here this is kind of like where again where coats jackets shoes and everything should go and then there's a door here to go through into the main house and you can see that little Asher there is busy playing with his bricks whilst dad is watching something on the telly I think mum may be over in the kitchen cooking up some pancakes for everyone this is the lounge area and I wanted to make it look really lived in. Like I say, when you've got a young family, that you've got lots of stuff. There's lots of toys lying around and little bits and pieces everywhere. So this is kind of just the main living area here. And it's quite small. They've got a little fish tank over here and all their books. And they've kind of, they haven't got a separate space. They haven't got a separate toy room for all the toys that come along when you have two young children. And so they've had to adapt their lounge area slightly and bring in some of the toys into the lounge area, which they don't mind at all. They've got a little table and chair here for Asher to sit and do his colouring on or if he's having a little snack in the lounge, he can sit there and do that. And he also has a little easel over here that he can do his painting on. And then there is an archway 
over this way and that is the archway that leads through to the back door so just through that little corridor there is the back door and then off here there are two archways one kind of leads to the bedrooms and one leads into the rest of like the living space so if we go through this archway and this takes us into the kitchen there you go you can see mom oh she's almost finished cooking the pancakes there and this is the kitchen it's pretty simple and i didn't want to oh look at those pancakes they're finished maybe she should go and have a nice relaxing bath go and have a hot bath mom it's hard work with those two kids right so this is the kitchen and this was their first house they moved in together and they didn't have much stuff as you know if you get in your first house together you kind of maybe you can't afford to buy all brand new furniture and so they just muddled together what they could with help from family members and that is why these chairs are all different they just got chairs from different people and they just got this cheap table here for their dining room table that they use they have a little dog ball there they have got a pet dog somewhere around the place and i just used one of the simple kitchens you know they're a young family they couldn't necessarily afford to get a fancy posh kitchen this is what they've got. Oh, here is Sophia over here in her bedroom. We'll go and take a look at that in a minute. And off the kitchen over here. Originally, I had this as a little bathroom area, but I changed my mind and decided to give them a little bit more space in the kitchen. So this now is kind of like a little pantry area where the fridge is, where they make their cup of coffee in the morning and it just makes it more spacious in the kitchen to not have to try and squeeze in a fridge in there as well. So let's go back out into from the lounge area so we've got this other archway which takes us into the bedrooms there is like a little room here with some more storage again families have loads of things that they need to store away and there's a corridor that takes you down to the other bedrooms or the kids bedrooms i should say it's the bathroom and the kids bedroom in fact let's go down this corridor first so here is the main family bathroom with a bath that mum is really enjoying there nice little relaxing time there with her little rubber duck it's <laughs> pretty simple standard little bathroom and as you continue down the corridor here is ash's bedroom i think he's just yeah he's just coming along to come and check out a book I think on his bookshelf cute little bedroom I really like this toddler bed I would like some more options to be honest for toddler beds where's he going he's going back into the lounge I think going to see going to see dad uh, yeah I'd like some more toddler furniture maybe that's not sort of the, the toy thing like these the, I like these these came with an event we did where we got loads of nursery time type of items along with these ones here I like them and they do fit in with home. Where did Asher go? He's he's going outside. Okay, fair enough, Asher. You have a little wander outside by yourself. That's fine. Um, yeah, I would just like some different different beds, maybe. And I don't know. I mean, like, let's just take a little quick look in the toddler section. I feel like there is a lot of toy stuff for toddlers, but then beds. All we have as options for beds are the night sky bed pink race car bed there's not many options so i would like to see some more options for beds for toddlers but other than that in his room he's got some little posters there he's really into rockets and space as you can see by his bed and his posters and he's got like his storage there and then his storage for a few more toys and books and games and things and then if you come out onto the corridor, there's another door here that takes you into Sophia's room. And she's just having a blast right now, jumping up and down on her bed. She is very into, she's very girly. She's into ballet, jewellery, makeup. And this is her room. Very pink. She has a little ballerina lamp there. And a cute drawer. These drawers just really go with like a cute girly room, I feel. And then the Neo Tokyo drawers the neo tokyo furniture actually is not something i use very often in any build maybe i should try and use them in a build and she has a little bean bag there so she can chill out when her friends come around and go into her room and then if we go back down the corridor through into this room this is where we have mum and dad's bedroom with their own ensuite they're so lucky they have their own little ensuite fairly simple bedroom i've used the urban uh, bedside tables and the urban bed wardrobe here i'm so used to using the walk-in wardrobes like these 
these ones as the wardrobes and that's and ever since we got them I feel like that's they're the only type of wardrobes I've ever put in any bedroom so it was good to kind of go back to using an actual freestanding kind of wardrobe there and then here is their ensuite small simple it's all they need their toilet sink shower what else do you need and a nice little plant to uh, to brighten up your mornings when you go in for a shower and that completes the tour of this one story family home I think that I'm surprised by how much you can kind of get in it's quite it was quite interesting to see what you can fit in a standard lot and sort of challenge yourself to do that with when we've got these um premium lots and we've got five floors basement we have so much space sometimes like I think it's quite easy just to use all of the space and you kind of get carried away with it it's quite nice to challenge yourself to do a smaller build and to cram things into a smaller place and I really did enjoy doing this it's really inspired me actually to do some more smaller builds that I'm definitely gonna start working on there you go let me know what you think of this house down below in the comments also let me know how like do you build smaller houses or are you very elaborate when you build things I know like I keep saying sort of the temptation is there to just build these huge huge builds it's nice to get back to basics it is really nice just to build something quite small but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to check out my new series from st of starting sims free play from the very beginning i will link it on the screen or it will have been linked up on the screen and down below in the i was gonna say in the comments it's not gonna be in the comments it's gonna be well probably and maybe i could put it in the comments as well but i'll put it in the description make sure you go and check that out Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very soon for a new video. Bye!